Power Shine Pressure Wash in Valdosta, Georgia. Got a new motor and I made a mess of all the cardboard because I ripped it out of there. As you can see, went with Predator 670. This has been in the works for a while. I've been debating on whether to go with a Honda, a Kohler, um, the CRX, or the Predator. And they were having a sale on these, so I'd have been stupid not to not to snag it. So I'm really excited about that. This machine has been really great. Um, I think I've showed you before. It's uh, it's upside down, but it says 7.1 gallons a minute, and it just doesn't surface clean like I'd like it to. Don't get me wrong; it does a great job. Uh, I've messed with tip sizes and all that. Got it. I got this baby humming. It's great for house washing, but I just wanted a machine that was specifically for surface cleaning. Really excited about that. Just wanted to show you real quick. Um, not washing today, took the day off. Took the last two days off actually, just kind of relaxed, gonna hit it hard um, this upcoming week. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys Monday. Good morning, YouTube. Power Shine Pressure Washing. Devin Burris here. It's currently 11:40. Kind of getting a late start here today. I know I said I'd get back with you Monday, but it rained and rained for the last couple days. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and uh, I'll see you guys out on the job. Guys, all set up, and hoses are pulled. I got them all flayed out and all the way around. So we're gonna start in the back on this corner. There's not a gate here. The gate's on that other side. So we're going to start back there, wash our way around, and then roll up back to the truck. My wife is with me today, and she's hiding. <laughs> we're going to try and get this machine cranked on uh, the first pool. Let's see. Probably take two, though, uh, if it, my guess. Yeah. Yeah, so like I said, we got a late start today. It is currently 12, I don't know if you can see that, 12.33, about to be 12.34. Go ahead and getting started. It's just a typical dinge on this house. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the north side of the house over there has lichen built up all over it, but it's nothing we can't handle. Nothing we're not used to. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started pulling this hose all the way around here. We're going to start on this, on this corner. Just dingy, dirty, yummy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's get a get to washing. Probably going to be some air in my line. It'll be a second before we... Yeah, see? So I know I showed you guys the new motor, so that's something that we're working on for the future. Going to have a dedicated surface cleaning machine. Um, I went with the Predator motor just because it was on sale and it would have been silly to go with anything else. Um, 
so I think I figured out my pump and gearbox configuration that we're going to go with so that's something that we're going to work for um, and it's kind of one of those things where you continue to work and do jobs and then the jobs will pay for the equipment I think that's something that a lot of people sort of preach you know don't get ahead of yourself which I'm pretty notorious for so the test of patience for me if nothing else we're going to go ahead and soak this side as well and then we'll rinse our way back this side's not terribly dirty go on mr lizard i don't want to get him get him wet i don't know if you see that fellow right there he's hiding from the sh run for your life buddy I'm looking to get the 36 inch Maxima by Whisper Wash. I do a lot of concrete cleaning so that will really speed up the process as far as concrete goes. So hopefully that's something that I can show you guys in the future that we'll have. Oh no. Soaked a frog. for you Mr. Deary. He's running. Get in there. My wife uh, is looking at me in disgust right now. She don't like frogs. I don't mind frogs. Uh, I mentioned before we had like a ton of rain here for the last I don't know four days. My yard looks like a swimming hole so I'm not really worried or concerned about any of the overspray on these plants as you can see there's water in that one so something that was posted online somebody was asking about starting up their business and I gave a response uh, pretty much just straightforward advice you know he was asking about where to invest his money and what best to do with it uh, I told him don't waste your time on a four gallon a minute go six or eight this is sort of the sweet spot between those two this is 7.1 I'm sure I'm putting out more than that as you can probably tell uh, I think I'm putting out about eight I, last time I did a draw test but yeah like uh, uh, 200 and something guys have liked the comment so far so I think that that was pretty sound advice as far as being on the right track I just you know a lot of these newer guys get into the game and I know this from experience because this is what I did you think you know eight gallons a minute is going to be overkill but you can see I rinsed that whole side of the house in just a few seconds I'm going to rinse the whole back of this house in just a few seconds this house won't take very long whatsoever because of that so if you're thinking about getting a machine i would suggest skip four gallons a minute go straight to a five and a half or an eight and i know it depends on what it is that you're trying to do but at the same time man your time is infinitely more valuable than money you can't get time back you can always make more money and if you can make money faster why would you limit yourself there is some staining up here on these whites that's not going to come off that's from the flashing it's an iron oxide i believe iron oxide or zinc oxide whatever it is the, the flashing is made out of it's a plating but it's actually a stain um i have stuff that i can take it off with degreasers and I think LA Awesome might even touch it I don't have any LA Awesome on the truck right now but that's also something that I was not contracted to do contracted for just a basic house wash on these properties so that's what we're doing almost done rinsing this side just got to rinse this little little bit right here um, I don't know if you've noticed I typically 
I typically soak sporadically, I reckon you could say. Uh, I always rinse top down, but I know you're supposed to soak from the bottom up. But you get in a bad habit, and I wind up soaping the same way that I rinse. And honestly, I, I don't know a whole lot of difference. Like, you know, some guys would probably be like, you're crazy. You have to soak from the bottom up. And it's like, I know. And I'm, I'm doing it wrong. And that's fine. It works for me. It doesn't work for you. You do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. We're in different areas, man. This house looks beautiful now. All of that nasty goop that was up there is gone. I want to get my camera wet. Siding is real shiny. All the lichen that was on it is gone. I know that sometimes doesn't translate to the camera, but I can see it. Looks good. In rinse mode on the last side. We're currently rinsing out our injector. So there's still little chemicals in here. We're going to just kind of hit this with what's left. Just because there's lichen, this side's going to take a heavier rinse. Um, it's all turned to jelly, though. So, it's really hot out today, so we're just kind of hitting this again. Make an effort to keep these windows good and wet. start rinsing here she's gonna swap over to rinse mode in just a minute I just like to rinse out the injector get some water in it it don't take a whole lot just enough to dilute the chemicals that are in it so I would say that through the injector I'm probably I'm probably getting about six and a half gallons a minute um, bypassing the injector in rinse mode I'm getting about eight eight and a half I mean easy shot I can shoot a whole story and a half over this house no problem this is in a pretty big neighborhood as far as houses go um, I think there's like 350 houses out here in this neighborhood huge subdivision so it's always nice to be able to do work in a big subdivision get your truck seen get yourself seen don't be obscene all of that stuff I'm gonna finish rinsing follow up with you guys when we get done. So we're all done here, all rinsed up, I washed the truck off. Um, something that I always do with my machine because I don't have a, I don't know what you call it, a little switch to turn off the machine. Um, I always end up starving it for gas and just let it run out of gas. So I don't have gas sitting in the carburetor in the bowl. It's actually helped me quite a bit. At the end of every job, I just make sure to turn off all of these. We got one hose to roll up. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a walk around real quick. Um, wrap up this video. Looks clean, came out good. All the lichen that was on this whole side has come off, as you can see. It's nice, it's wet, beautiful. Um, all the dinge that was up here and these sides, it's all clean. So I'm gonna take some after pictures of that. Forgot to show you, all rolled up, everything. It's 118. So, about 40 minutes on this job, not long at all. Like, subscribe. You heard him.